I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to get in with some backgrounds in Photoshop. So there's many different ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to maybe just start off with the solid color. So you can use this paint bucket. Mouse click, that could be your background. Uh, changing colors, you just double click and choose and then reload if you wanted. Or you can choose from your picker up here. So um, whatever style or whatever you're trying to do with your background, uh, you can do that. You can also jump into the gradient tool and if you click and hold on that, you can just click and drag to make a gradient. That could be uh, a nice background. Uh, there's some presets in here uh, you can choose as well. Uh, the third option, uh, another option you can do is if you go into filter and you can play with some of these effects in here. So typically I usually start off with render of clouds um, just to get a base color in there and then from that I mean you can just start really playing with the different effects um, seeing what you kind of come up with. Um, you don't want to do anything too crazy uh, with your background because most of this is going to be covered up with different uh, images. So um, here I'm in the filter gallery and I can just kind of click when I like one, just click OK, and then you can continue to play with it. Or if I don't like it, uh, Control Z or Control uh, Command Z to undo on a Mac. Um, so that's one option, or you could just bring in an image and have that be kind of a textured background too. So those are that's just a quick way to do some backgrounds.